Hi, my name is Steph. If you'd like to come on in and have a seat for some symbolic support, we're going to see what the Skull of Scrolls has for choosing a sign. Oh my goodness. We're going to scry your ink made in your name and essence as well, adding on Oracle cards in the Shaman's Palm configuration. And we also have Ghost Tube here kicking for any audio additions that may further inspire or irritate. So please do receive a release freely. All right. We have here Capricorn. Capricorn, if you'd like to take a screenshot so you can scry on your own time and terms for shapes and symbols that speak to your psyche and psychic senses. You know the drill. I'm going to take a moment to open up. You're welcome to join me or you can fast forward through. So when you're ready, Cappies. Taking a nice big breath. Closing the eyes, cleansing the pilot of perception, releasing the race and the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support in the name and honor of Capricorn. Capricorn, thank you so much for being my muse, for holding space for me to share my insights and allowing me to be a guest in your aura at this end of the year calendar threshold. Huzzah. All right. <laughs> you know the drill. Feel well to comment below what you see, sense, or feel, or you can keep to yourself. Well, also Capricorns near the end, as I'm going to try and keep the shorter and sweeter, uh, a superhero card. So see who comes through for you. I'm seeing like, uh, I told him. I don't think I've actually seen the movie like all the way through, but like, it's kind of hard not to know something about it, but I'm seeing like those alien things. I don't, I think that there I is. feel like there's alien things. I'm also seeing sloth nails. Okay, so I'm slowing down Capricorns as I'm here, like right now. I'm slowing down. Why am I slowing down? What's going on? Oh, I'm seeing a oh, da, 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 da. bowling pins knocked over. I want to say Capricorns, you've, uh, you've successfully completed something. I don't know what it is, but it's like, however many pins are in, in the bowling thing. I just, I don't know. That's fine. Uh, but one, like you knocked over specifically, if not two, so well that like it cracked the, the bowling, the bowling pin over oh, heavens and hot dogs for the bowling pin. It's not coming back. Like that pin can is not going to be used again. Whatever that pin means to you. You know how like they keep coming up? Like that the little man, do it again. Do it again. This is kind of the energy I feel like. No, do it again. Do it again. And then there's like some sort of configuration I'm seeing and I don't know any bowling terms. And there's like one pin on the end. Or like everything else has been knocked down. And then there's like some trick thing, you know, like, how are you going to get, but you did it. Whatever this stands for, you, you did it. It's not coming back. And that's a good thing. I don't know if I 18. made, that, I don't know if I made that clear. It could be like an 18 year cycle. I don't know what it is. It's not none of my business, none of my business, but you did it. There also could be something about like cracking a code because I keep hearing it and I'm like, what, what, are we, what code are we cracking? But maybe it's the Capricorn, Capricorn code. Hmm. There's also, okay. Ancient fish. I, that's just the word I'm going to call it. Ancient fish. I feel like I'm seeing a symbol. Okay, there's a lot of love there. So maybe it's in the water. Could have something to do with these guys. Because it's like I'm seeing a totem, totem pole, but not in the traditional way one would uh, conjure, create a totem pole that we're familiar with. This is different. This is different. It's like using different um, lines. Uh, or even like, it's, it's like imagine if Picasso made a totem pole. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, there's something. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Five. Somebody's blowing you a kiss from spirit. I feel like I'm, I'm in a little bit of a pinball game here. I'm preparing. Uh, some, I don't know why that's coming through a pinball. And he, here's the, 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 Crazy. Ball, the ball that's going to go in. And once this happens, it's like once this um, latch lets go. Ping, 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 ping. There's going to be a lot, a lot of lights going off. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's like success or maybe Capricorn. I want to kind of say I'm going back into the, the bowling thing. Maybe you're part of a league of something or you're in a league of your own. It's almost like being at, we're, I'm just going to go with the bowling league thing because I get constipated when I try and move away from it for one reason or another. Maybe there's a skill or a set of, I don't know. It's fine. And by completing something, because then I see Come all like back. these lights flash, like success, there's a celebration and also happy birthday. Okay. So this could also just be a happy birthday for anyone and pre happy birthday to anyone prior along with me and the Christmas Eve babies and, and so on and so forth. Solstice babies. But this feels like there's going to be many layers and levels to it. You've already done so much rest. And I know, I know for myself, I've definitely been in that feeling and that air because what's there could be something coming up. Come over here. In the threshold, like crossing over the threshold of, of the calendar year that's going to feel exciting, actually exciting. But I'm, I feel like I'm taking a moment to wonder if it's distracting or exciting. So then I might have to drill it down. It's like finding out if you, you know, play pinball, is it pinball? It is pinball. Yes. And then you find out which one of the things along the game, the path that gets you maybe the most points, the most expertise would get you the extra, the ball. Then you have like two balls running around or three and you find these things out. There's something about loud noise though. Loud noise. It could be very, very startling. There's those little paddle things up there as well. It's like there's two games happening at the same time. And I'm not going to flip the scroll today. I will flip it another another day. See, something's being born in here. I do see it as like a with a little devilish tail. That doesn't mean it's devilish in nature. This feels as though I am creating... Okay, you know how... Yes, thank you. Oh my goodness, it's crazy. The sea goat, right? And let's just say for simplicity's sake, we see the, you know, the top of the goat and a mermaid or fish-like tail. I'm seeing that fish-like tail have what one may presume to be a typical uh, uh, devilish spike or spear at the end of that. This is why it doesn't make me feel like it's of anything to shun. It's almost like as I'm swimming and I have this um, spear thingy on the end of my tail, like where the mermaid thing would be, but that's very, very sharp. It's slicing things left behind me. Hmm. So it's like cut it out. When you decide to cut something out, it's like I need to commit to that. I need to commit to that. And if I, if I feel, uh, possibly love, if I feel that I've maybe want to revisit that, it's not because I failed or didn't see something. It's like, I'm ready. I'm ready to add that in, or I'm ready to contemplate that. Cause I feel like there's a lot of opportunities right there. I don't know if that makes any sense, but there it is. Okay. Let's start adding on some oracle cards. Okay. So in your cave of ice is the dancer of reconciliation. I will bring them up for you. Hmm. Shaman of song is in your winds. There's something else I'm seeing here. Shaman. Yeah, see shaman of birth. Something's coming. Okay. I'm going to stop right there for one moment.
Cappies. Let's do this. Dancer of Reconciliation is coming up in your cave of ice. So this is what's dethawing, maybe from the past. And you could be reconciling, have reconciled throughout this year, this bowling game of bull. I don't know. Maybe it's not bull. Maybe a lot of those pins represent great things to you. But you still want to knock them down because it means something. Right? It's like playing golf, but the whole point of golf is to play the least amount of golf or have the least amount of swings or things like that. Okay, so I'm also reconciling with another when I see those alien things and uh, I've reconciled with like another part of uh, family frequencies. It doesn't have to be alien. It could be angels. It could be your friend, friend groups have changed. Your family dynamics have changed. There's an evolution that takes you farther and closer away to different things. And I feel like in that like amoeba-like feeling that is important to notice and honor. And I feel like in some ways commit to the ones where you've noticed there's been a natural evolution <clears throat> of moving away. Because it's like focusing on what it brings me towards. Okay. And the Shaman of Song is in the cave of winds and that's what's in my mind harmony harmonizing many chords of things many thoughts many donate. layers of thoughts thank you if you do donate like share subscribe if you haven't already cappies you warm a haunted heart so thank you thank you thank you it's like my shadow and my shine if i may my de my devil is also divine and i'm not going to try and separate the two anymore i'm not going to try and uh, slice and dice this into two separate uh, energies or entities. They are one of the same. They're very coalescent. They are co-creating. They are in harmony because I'm seeing the, I think it's the treble clef and the bass clef together. Okay, shaman of birth is in your hearth fire. So this is what, when I was talking about that, thank you, that little uh, dragon devil with mermaid sea goat the tail okay so thank you there's that fish as well like look at this big fish i've caught and there's the spear there's the fire but there's like the fish head there's the fish head sister might have something to do with a sister so maybe sister is giving birth but i feel like capricorns this is you And it's on earth. Some I can, remember when I was talking about like that ancient fish fossil or I don't know if I use that word. And I understand I'm seeing this as a fish, even though it's a fire depicted, but I feel like I'm cooking that fish now. Like fish head soup. I get I get to enjoy the fruits of my labor. I get to celebrate in some way, shape, or form the all getting the strike at the bowling bowling alley. I feel like there's another word in there like a strike is when you do it all at once and then there's this part where if you know the word like if you have to do it in like two i know the word but nonetheless something's being celebrated uh i heard something about happy dance a happy dance in your cave of rivers is your spirit of empowerment and then in your cave of earth is spirit of family. This feels different. This feels different. You could be working with family, of course, in one way, shape, or form. Hunter of Paths is on the bottom. You're on the up, up, up. See, there's, because uh, I'm seeing this little, see, and even death is beneath that. Sagittarius. Something is, something is dead, done, and over with. And it's, it's like keep it, you've buried it or do the ceremony you've had the ritual whatever the case is and i keep hearing it's like stay committed to that in honor of okay nonetheless see how in the hunter of paths because i'm seeing it like a little yoda there you're like da, 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 da. but there's other frequency family members that, that step in at different steps i want to know i feel very called to say this isn't about wonderful your typical linear ascension concept. I don't even know what that means, but there it is. It's like a strike in bowling means one thing, but a strike maybe there's at work one strike against you. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. 
in the the cave of yes rivers of your feeling is the spirit of empowerment thank you i got lost in that thought because i was hearing i'm holding you up i'm holding you up you can like work between like there might be sisters or you have uh, siblings or other people maybe in your career personal professional whatever the case may be you have the ability to hold other people up and see them shine without it blinding you and it's almost as if it's like oh i can just shine and you're like absolutely you're you're not going to hurt my eyes your eclipse isn't going to affect me i am in charge of looking away or putting on any appropriate glasses or whatever the case may be there's something about heart shine there's also another part of me that i feel cappies is when i'm birthing this person, place, or thing, idea, even just a part of myself, because space is being made. I, I, I'm really holding it up. So I birth it and then I hold it up. Whether this is an actual, if you're a parent, that congratulations, but if this is a part of you, maybe it's your inner child, maybe it's your subcom, maybe it's whatever Please you, you know what it is. And it's like you rebirth the idea or the commitment to it. And then you hold it up and shine. There's something about, um, the throat chakra specifically coming through about this. Yeah. It's something about the throat chakra of speaking. It's like speaking like medicine or being your own medicine. And that doesn't mean it needs to be all cheesy positive. Like it, ju it gives me this feeling of, um, okay, it's going back to, the devil and my divinity being one of the same and they're harmonized treble clef and bass clef and it's almost like somewhere i it, don't know it's like you in general or your aura is is the oh my goodness and i know the words it's horrible it's like the music bars for the treble and the bass to play so it's like you don't even need to to worry about this that or the other it's you're the steady background at this point in time and when something comes in that you want to commit Maybe. to or you have closed out i don't know somebody's getting a trophy like a i'm going to go with like a bowling trophy or something like that there's also some that are definitely reconnecting and reconciling with possibly friends if you want to that's up to you but there's also something about like i'm going to say starseed stuff spirit people in spirit family in spirit you might hear something about their songs. They might songs. They might send you songs on the radio or whatnot that help you think of them, remind you of them. Okay, Capricorn. Sorry, I hope that made sense somewhere along the lines. Your superhero card is Rogue. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're good. Just want to make sure. Prudy Prudence. Make sure all our parts are there. Okay, so Rogue. Something a little fun. Your superhero. Rogue's mutant ability to absorb the powers and personality of anyone with whom she has skin contact with has left her scarred for life. During a battle with Mrs. Marvel, Rogue permanently acquired not only the superhero's powers of flight and vulnerability and super strength, but her memories as well. Devastated by the incident, Rogue sought sanctuary with the X-Men. Though they distrusted her at first, the X-Men now consider Rogue a key yes. member of the team respecting her for her strength of character as well as her courage in battle interesting uh so you can of course apply that however that may feel it's almost like how you might be accused of sometimes or maybe you've had to go rogue and you're reconciling with that it's like you, you went off to do your own thing, to find your path. That's not just, you know, up, 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 up. Like I'm seeking some sort of upness is the only way. Because I'm taking like a labyrinth of stairs. <clears throat> you kind of enjoy it. Like I enjoyed the journey, the experience of it. And there's this wisdom here that keeps coming like at me out of the scroll. Like I'm meeting a very Libra. wise caterpillar of sorts with all these hands that is like hi it's like which layer yes. is someone communicating with you or are you communicating with them or somebody in spirit as well 
Okay, so back to Rogue. I feel like something has been misunderstood. Maybe you've misunderstood it, but there's something has come, uh, come to a space of contentment, and that's not to be bored. It's peace. I feel peace. I feel peace. And I want to nurture that peace. Maybe that's what I'm birthing. However, Capricorns, I want to know because she, whoever you have skin contact with, so you might want to be careful about that. Like people might try and like, just, you know, want to be in your aura. It's like playing bowling for whatever reason this is coming through. And somebody else is on that little stage before you do, the, Fred, do? the Fred Flintstone thing. You, you can't be there. We shouldn't be there. It's invasive. Uh, it's a weird intention. It's a weird intention. So I, I, I don't know, maybe just to, uh, be a little mindful of that. But I also want to know because she says she absorbs the powers of others. You have the ability to adapt. You have the ability to see skills and other harmonies that are working. And then it's like you morph them to work for you. It's, it's an inspiration. Okay, but it's kind of like bringing me into the whole empath thing. Um, and maybe that's energetically how you've been feeling lately. It's like, it, is it a curse or a blessing? And in some way, in I'm one inside. pin or all the pins, you're, you have figured it out for your alchemy in moving forward, a portion of it here and now, oh, I can actually use this to my advantage and that's not selfish and that's not a bad thing because it, it's not inflicting anything else on others. I hope some of this makes sense. Oh my goodness. Cabbies, I'm going to let this be here. Danger. Thank you so much. <laughs> Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Be very mindful. Be very mindful of uh, people, places, and things that are just trying to get a little too close for comfort and their intentions maybe don't line up uh, because they see something about you that's lighting. Like uh, It's like going into an arcade and there's that one game that kind of lights up the most like to get everyone's attention, even though you might be like, I don't want to light up. and I don't. I think it just happens naturally in some way, shape, or form. Or they, they love to hate you, hate to love you, whatever the case may be. Hmm. And they want to... Okay, nonetheless, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you, Capricorns. Until next time, I will see you again soon. Thank you. Subscribe to Scry.